Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use Minitab to define a Tag3 design of experiment. You see, uh, it is well known that Tag3 design of experiment is one of the optimization techniques. However, it is a single objective optimization method. It is not a multi-objective uh, optimization technique like uh, gray relational analysis so i will show you how to use uh, how to use mini tab to define the actual design of experiment i took one sample paper uh, a journal article so in this journal article as this shown from this screen the factors and labels are given which means First, we have to know the factors and we have to know the labels to define the actual design of experiment. So, the researcher optimized this uh, formability of a drawing quality still. So, he used three factors and three labels. The factors uh, were the feed rate, the tool diameter, and steep size. And the factors, there are three factors for each label. Feed rate 800, 1000, and 1500. Tool diameter it's 10 and 12 mm. And steep size 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 1. So based on these factors, he mm, generate this experimental layout, which means based on L9. 3 by 3 orthogonal array that means he conducted nine experiments based on L9 uh, orthogonal array uh, these are the factors and labels this is the experimental layout so how you are going to define this one by using mini tab software to find to optimize um, labels uh, from each factor this is he used this one larger the better so Based on larger the better, he calculated the scene ratio value like this. Uh, then after that, based on that, uh, he found this one experimental results. Uh, he already conducted two things. The first one based on simulation results and the other one based on experimental results this example we only consider this experimental results so we are not considering this simulation we'll consider only this fabricated parts and this the second column the second column uh, so after that after considering these three things we can uh, define this experiment uh, by using Minitab software. So let, sh let me show you how to define this one by using Minitab. So the first thing, just have to open your Minitab. Then when you open Minitab for the first time, the window looks like this one. What you are going to do, just from this the top, in the second, this the bars displayed here file edit data uh, you calculate and start you have to go here start and go for design of experiment dua then you have to go here taguchi then you have to go here create taguchi design then after that uh, we as this shown here, this experiment has three factors and three labels. So you have to go here, three label design, then number of factors. There are three factors as this shown here. There are three factors, feed rate, to diameter, and steel. You have to choose that one. Then after that, 
you go here design it's this l9 it's okay then you have to go here factors in here you have to define each factor the name of the factors and their level you have to define it here so as an example the first factor is here it is feed so you have to write feed here feed rate and the second one it is to diameter and the third one it is a steep size so you have to uh, write them like this in the feed rate there are three labels right feed rate you see feed here three labels 800 1000 1500 so you have to write them here don't use comma just only write them with some space space 1000 space and then the third one 1500 and the second one to diameter you have to go here and to diameter 8 10 12 8 space 10 space 12 and the third one a steep size 0 0.5 0 0.81 0 0.5 0 0.8 and 1 then we finished after finishing this one just okay then go here and OK. You see, as to shown here, Takchi orthogonal array, L9, 3 by 3, factors 3, runs, which means number of experiments we are going to conduct, 9. So we'll conduct 9 experiments based on this Takchi design of experiment. You see, there are 9 experiments here. So now, what you are going to do, you have to feed the result here. So as to shown here, let us bring the results from the this experiment. So we'll take the experiment as I said before. He conducted two experiments. The one it is physical experiment, and the other one is simulation. So we'll take the physical experiment results, which is based on larger the better. So let us go table here from this experimental results we'll take this one fabricated part here right this one is simulation this one is fabricated this one is error so uh, formability devs we'll take the formability devs so let us uh, write uh, here the heading formability formability this formability then the result of this table I already uh, this is a PDF file so I converted into Excel the result is this one the second column so let us copy this one see let us copy 53.79 54.17 right you see 53.79 54.17 so let us copy this column and let us paste it here you see now it is pasted here the result for this combination of factors and labels should be displayed in the fourth column just the formability like this so what you are going to do just spot it like this then after that go to here start design of experiment taguchi then 
you see previously we created the Takuchi design of experiment now we have to analyze this one analyze Takuchi design of experiment like this then this way uh, this box will pop up then what you are going to do you have to choose the response data response data which is the formability is the response the other the other side the factor so you have to double click this one then when you double click it it will be chosen like this then after that go to graph here then signal to noise ratio and means then okay in this options you see here nominal is the best it is active just right now so we have to change it into larger is better because our uh, experiment is based on larger is better because we require high formability in this process so we have to choose larger is the better then okay then after that choose this one okay you see as just shown here the response table for signal to noise ratio is already created and this is a plot for the uh, mean effective plot our decision must be based on the mean effective plot of SN ratio SN ratio uh, because we said larger is a better so this SN ratio values are here 34.60 34.65 34.75 it is increasing from uh, this bottom to this the upper side so which means whenever there is uh, a factor as this highest level we will choose it as one of the best levels so in this case as is shown here uh, the first factor which is the feed rate the feed rate uh, will have optimum level at this the second uh, at 1000 feet rate and the tool diameter at 8 mm tool diameter and the feet the steep size will be at 0 0.8 so which means uh, a2 uh, b1 and C2 with the optimum process parameters to find optimum formability. So let us check this one with the experimental investigations we, we, which are defined by the researchers. So SN ratio, let us check the SN ratio. This one is the fabricated part, which means the experiment. So feed rate. see now these are the experimental results as this shown here uh, the speed rate 34.64 level 1 level 2 34.76 you see level 2 34.76 and level 3 is 34. 74.59 you see 59 so uh, it is right perfect and the second one to diameter 34.71 you see this one 34.60 and 34.68 it is approximately 69 so based on this one you can define the maximum minus minimum you find delta so 0 0.17 0 0.11 0 0.23 let us check the plot so if you go this uh, plot you see you see the graph also the same with uh, this mini tab so you can use this method to define the design of experiment by using mini tab if you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment section below thank you